ABAP Editor. So in this lesson, we will learn how to use the ABAP Editor and all of its features. Creating, changing, and displaying a program. Program attributes. Create documentation and text elements. ABAP Editor tools. Utility settings. So the ABAP Editor is a source code editing tool designed to handle the specifics of ABAP coding. It's one of the main components of the ABOP workbench. And we'll use the ABOP editor to write and edit ABOP programs, as well as class methods, function modules, screen flow logic, type groups, and logical databases. So let's see the use of the topics on the screen as an ABOP editor. So how to open the ABOP editor. The first method is SAP menu, tools, ABOP workbench, development, SE38, ABOP editor. And of course, the second method is to write SE38 in the command line and press the OK icon. So now we can create programs, variants, attributes, documentation, text elements right here in the ABOP editor. To create a program, we'll write the name in the command field and press the Create button. So the program must start with Z or Z if you speak English the way the English do. And now we will enter the program attributes. First, we'll enter a title for the program. Information of the user. Now, the most important program attribute is the type which we can use to determine how an ABOP program is executed. Status can be selected. And the application can be selected such as material management. The authority group can be selected. The editor lock can be selected. And that's good, so we'll click the Save button. Now, a package can be selected, but we'll create it local. And yeah, sure enough, the program was created. And now we can press the Active button to activate the inactive program. And that's what it looks like when the program is activated. So now we can press F1 uh, to display it or change the mode. Click on the Check button and we can check for program syntax errors. Activate program. So now we will add a parameter to the program. Activate and execute program. And the parameter is added on the screen. So if you click the Where Used List button, we can see where the program is used. And we can click the Display Object List button to 
see all the objects of the program. So why don't we add a new parameter? Activate the program. And we see that the pcon2 parameter has been added. But for now, we'll delete the pcon2 parameter. We can set session or external bugging in the program. Now with the pattern button, we can add many statements to the program. We have added the nq easy car ID function directly to the program. So we just need to add the parameters. With the pretty printer button, we can adjust the layout of the coats. See how it removes the blanks on the line. So how do we adjust this? It is the indent property that makes that happen. So if we remove the indent check mark, it won't happen again. We can also set the codes to be lower or upper. So if you select keyword lowercase, the codes will be lowercase. And look at that, it has changed. So we can also adjust the enhancement error, as well as the editor options. And many other options. We can also use the options at the bottom right. We can make display settings. We can change the font settings. We can see the size increasing, right? We can also create code templates. So let's do write to So if the command write to is added, it will automatically write U line. And yes, we can create adjustments just like that. So let's just delete the write to template. And we can see that there are standardized templates. We can also make formatting, keyboard, and print settings changes. And we'll activate the program. And we'll go back. So this way we can change the properties. We can also change it from the Go To tab. Add a document for the program. Let's write something and activate it. Execute program. We see that the document has been added. 
We can also add some text elements. 